The Cardinals Daily Report is brought to you by the Arizona Lottery. You can't win if you don't play. Well, Kyle, the Cardinals uh, are 4-1 and one right now, and there's no questioning the win-loss record, and, and that's all that matters when it's really all said and done. But when you talk about this defense right now, uh, struggling a little bit in the pass game, uh, they're better against the run, obviously, but when you're, when you're talking about defending the pass, I think some people thought they might be a little bit better at this point. Sure. You look and you got Patrick Peterson and Antonio Cromarty, and those are guys that are two guys that have been to Pro Bowls for uh, playing cornerback, and you thought that they would be shut down guys. And they've had stretches where they've been really good, but they've also had stretches where they've gotten taken advantage of. It's not a surprise that Patrick Peterson's going to be under that kind of scrutiny with the giant contract extension. You consider him one of the best cornerbacks in the league. That's what's going to happen to a guy like that. And, and he said today, uh, talking about the scrutiny and, and what people are saying about him, look, that comes with a territory. I understand that that's going to happen. People are going to expect more from me. Uh, and he also felt like, hey, at this point, I'm not playing as well as I can. But he also made it very clear that it's, he doesn't think it's a focus problem. He thinks it'll come along quickly. And they still do have 11 games to get better at, at doing that. Yeah, you see the, the one big one, obviously, against Deshaun Jackson was giving up that big touchdown. You look at other than that, you know, he played pretty well in that game. But it's such a, a big play. And you just can't have that 60-yard, that 70-yard play against you. If he is on, and what Todd Bowles was saying is he's so good at, at taking away half of the field because he can play man coverage. You don't need to give him a lot of help. And when you can do that, you can do a lot of things defensively with blitzes. So sometimes, even though, Patrick, uh, you won't see him stop guys, the fact that when they don't throw his way, he's having good coverage, so you don't notice it. But it lets you do a lot of things defensively. So even though you know people have been saying things about him and he's admitted he hasn't had the best season yet, he still does a lot for the defense. Well, and the other thing that could help Patrick Peterson in this defense, uh, pass defense as a whole, is a better pass rush. You got Alex Okafor getting a couple of sacks this past weekend. Uh, you're still trying to generate some things. Todd, Bowl, Todd Bowles again was talking about, you know, one of the things Peterson does is allow them to blitz a lot because you're leaving them on an island because that's how you get to get the pass rush. But this team still needs to keep pushing forward, whether it's Alex Okafor or somebody else, getting to the quarterback and maybe helping out those cornerbacks once in a while. Yeah, and the fact that Alex got at least one of his sacks on just a standard four-man pressure is huge because before, you know, two of their sacks, two of their six sacks were from safeties and none from the linebackers before Alex got two. So if he can do that consistently, he's been hurt, but this is, was his first real chance to get consistent playing time, and he played great. So if he can stay healthy and keep doing that, it, it really changes what the defense can do. Well, we'll see what happens here uh, against Oakland this week. And you're going against a rookie quarterback, Derek Carr. I have a feeling Todd Bowles is going to dial up some nice things for the rookie. And I'm sure that's something that a veteran cornerback like Patrick Peterson is looking forward to as well. So for Kyle Odegaard, I'm Darren Urban. This has been another edition of Cards Daily on azcardinals.com.